Storytelling is one of the hardest things to learn, but it's also what makes girls attracted, hooked and open up to you. But you can't always say, when I think about the topic, I think about A, B and C. So in this video, I'll give you two more storytelling techniques you can use. I'm St. Robert and for the last three years, I've been coaching day game to guys from all over the world. And in this video series, I'm showing you the exact techniques I'm teaching my day game coaching students. This video series has around 20 videos divided in four different chapters, but this chapter focuses on how to make a girl attracted to you in the first minutes of the conversation and reach the hook point. It comes with a poster showing all the steps you have to go through from strong stop all the way to a strong number close. Use it as a reference to understand where exactly you're getting stuck in your day game sets and what to focus on next. So you learn how to make a good stop, how to open well, how to stack to get topics maybe find out where she's from what she does for a living or what she's up to now very good you're able to get topics to talk about so now it's time to show her your storytelling skills with the first topic you probably use the three things technique i explained in the previous videos but now that you have stacked again you found a new topic it would be really weird to use the same technique so here are a few more options the first technique works well both with where she's from and what she does for a living Let's say you found out she's a barista. You can say, oh, I actually used to work with a lot of baristas at one point in my life and I learned a few things about you guys. And here comes your story. Or let's say she says she's from Sweden and you can say, oh, I actually used to work with this big company where there were a lot of people from Sweden and I learned a few things about you guys. And here comes your story. And the second one works very well with geography. You can simply say, wherever she's from, you can simply say, oh, yeah, actually my friends went there a few months ago and I spent a few weeks there and they told me that. And again, here comes your story with a few things you know about that country. Actually, all you need is a little cue to start your story and then you can even use the same things you would have said if you used the three things technique. There's actually no difference, just the beginning is a little bit different. You can even use things like books or movies. You can say, oh, I actually saw this uh, crazy movie about accountants and I got the impression that you guys are da 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 The important thing is to make sure the story isn't about Germany, Italy, China, or about accountants or baristas or waiters. The story is about her. And the way we do that is at the end of the story, you simply add a phrase like, that must be you. And for example, if she's a waitress at a bar, you can say at the end of the story, I can already imagine you dealing with all the drunk tourists at your work. And again, just as I said about the three things video, just listing a few things you know about the topic is the basic storytelling. But if you're good at that, it's time to level up your storytelling game. And instead of just listing three simple things, expand on them tell three stories tell three sentences try to say some try to say something more instead of 10 seconds use a minute telling a story about baristas waiters or whatever once you're good at basic storytelling it's time to level up your game a little bit and you can start working on teasing Teasing without using storytelling techniques is a little bit more difficult, so it requires a little bit more work, a little bit more skill, but in the next video I'll tell you how you can start improving your teasing. The poster showing all the steps you have to take from strong stop to strong number close is available from the link below this video. Use it as a reference to understand where exactly you're getting stuck in your day game interactions and what to focus on next. If instead of long conversations about inner game, meditation and other mental masturbation you prefer a very technical step-by-step -step approach to day game, then subscribe to my YouTube channel.